Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. Barefox here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can set up your NVIDIA graphic card to improve your FPS and get better performance in Marvel Rivals. This guide includes reducing your input and render latency and optimizing the best values in NVIDIA control panel to help you improve your FPS. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is coming to NVIDIA GeForce Experience download page. Once you are here, you guys can click on download now or you guys can download NVIDIA app from the app website. I currently use NVIDIA app and this is how my interface looks like. You're gonna have to locate the drivers section over here and if there is any update available, make sure that you download it right on your PC. The new update right over here supports Delta Force, Forza Motorsport Update, Indiana Jones, Marvel Rivals, Path of Exile 2 and Warhammer 40,000. And a lot of new games like Farmer Simulator 25, Microsoft Flight Simulator and Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl. Once you download it, simply install it right on your PC and that should be it. Step number two is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and once you are here select your local disk c click on create and name it marvel just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once that is done simply click on close and close system properties now before we move ahead a really effective way to improve your pc's performance is having free space on your local disk c and installing your games and your operating system in an ssd as they are generally faster and more responsive i I collaborated with 4D DIG Partition Master, a really handy and portable tool that offers you to manage your partition and migrate your operating system from your hard disk to an SSD without any corruption. It is free to download for Windows and other operating system and here is how it looks like. You are only a few clicks away from the task like migrating your operating system. Simply click on the start button over here and it will auto detect your OS. You just have to click the new disk that you want your OS OS to be migrated to and simply click on start and in a few moments your PC will boot up faster you can also play along with the partition size if you want to allocate more space to your local disk C to ensure your PC keeps on performing better you can check out 4D DIG Partition Master for yourself and try out more amazing features by downloading the application from the link in the description below. Next step is a Marvel Rivals and Video Optimization Pack. You have to download it from the link in the description below. It is super important because we are going to be using some GPU priorities before setting up our control panel things, right? So over here, I have left four simple things. First one is Marvel Rivals Priority where I have left the priorities for your game. Once again, these files are taken from the previous fps pack so you have to leave your pc specs down in the comments below or apply any one between normal priority and a high priority that will give you better fps once again i have also left normal priority so if that doesn't work out well you can set it back again second folder over here is the most important one that is nvidia gpu optimization where i have left two registries that are really crucial for your graphic card first one is disable power saving and this will disable all kind of power saving features on your pc that might be causing two fps issues and increased range the latency do that simply double click and run it on your pc and second one is use your hardware gpu against integrated gpu so many times your processor have inbuilt graphics card and you also have a dedicated graphic card this is most common on laptops and low-end desktops so if that is a case for you many times your games are utilizing your integrated graphic card and that is why you are not getting higher performance or the fps that you are expecting to get and this registry will help you to use your hardware gpu as your primary gpu against your integrated gpu so you have to double click and apply that and go back third one is pc optimization where i have left bcd tweaks disable memory compression and process mitigation you have to right click and run all of them as administrator and they will and some PowerShell commands on your PC that will help you to improve with your input latency and reduced CPU load. Fourth and final is the programs where I have left MSI mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run it as administrator. Now once you are here you have to look for your graphic card click on the MSI button in front of it and for the interrupt priority set high over here click on apply and click on ok. This will set up higher interrupts priority on your GPU that means it can handle more interrupts and processes while you are ending the game and it will help you to improve the performance of your GPU. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is setting up the NVIDIA control panel and for that right click on any empty area of your desktop, click on show more options and then select NVIDIA control panel over here. Now once you 
are over here you have to look over to the first option that is adjust image settings with preview because this is where everything starts click on use advanced 3d image settings and then click on take me there once you are in here you have to head over to program settings aside from global settings and then click on the add button over here now you have to click on the browse button and go to the download location of marvel rivals now this has already detected marvel rivals for me so i have to click on add selected program if you cannot find it you can go to the download location in the browse section over here and this will take you to the download location once again if that does not automatically adds up marvel rivals for you you have to click on the browse button over here and open up steam simultaneously right click on your game head over to manage and then click on browse local files copy this file path over here and paste it in here then head over to marvel game Marvel Binaries Win64 and then select Marvel Winshipping.exe and then click on open. Now that is already added for me. So what you have to do is head over to image scaling and then turn this thing off. Click on OK. Anisotropic filtering, go with 2x. Anti-aliasing FXAA off. Gamma correction on. Anti-aliasing mode, application control. Anti-aliasing transparency off. Background application, max frame rate, you have to set it to on and set it to 30 FPS. CUDA, you have to set your all GPUs over here. CUDA sysmem fallback policy you guys have to set prefer no sysmem fallback low latency mode go with ultra max frame rate go with off monitor technology if you have a g-sync compatible monitor like me you can enable that but if you do not have it set it to fixed refresh mfaa off open gl gdi compatibility set it to prefer performance open gl rendering gpu set it to your native graphic card power management mode set it to prefer maximum performance then anisotropic filtering sample optimization you have to set it to off negative LOD bias set to clamp texture filtering quality go with performance texture filtering trilinear optimization on threaded optimization on triple buffering off vsync use 3d image settings and then virtual reality pre-rendered frame set it to use 3d application settings once that is done click on apply and then for the digital vibrance set it somewhere between 65 and 70 percent to improve the colors and visibility in the game then you guys have to scroll all the way down until you find adjust video color settings and then choose your primary monitor then select with nvidia settings and then head over to the advanced tab here you'll find dynamic range set it to full because in many case it would be set to limited and in limited you guys will not see better blacks and setting it to full will help you to improve the dynamic range of your display and help you to see better colors once that is done simply close this settings and now you guys can drop into the game with the best fps possible so that is it for this video guys i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button do let me know if this guide helps you out or not once again i'm going to be working on a similar guide for amd graphics card because both of the graphic card need to be set individually so that is why i am dividing this video into two parts this is part one and the amd guide will be part two so if you guys have an amd graphic card stay tuned for that we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out